It has been weeks of campaign prayer in Sesheke Center constituency in Western Province of a by-election following a demise of UPND lawmaker Frank Kufakwandi. Under extreme difficult circumstances, UPND candidate Romeo Kangombe has emerged victorious. For example, on a voting day, police in Sesheke confiscated these offensive weapons at a guest house alleged to belong to a PF camp. Tegasing by police on another day's lightning, which led to the death of one person, among others. After voting, Sesheke Constituency Retaining Officer Joseph Kanyemba declared Romeo Kangombe as winner with eight polling stations not uncountered. Two hundred and ninety-seven votes, and Kangombe Romeo of UPND has seven thousand seven hundred sixty-eight votes. Total votes cast is eleven thousand four hundred and nineteen, with rejected ballot papers being seventy-six. Therefore, in accordance with the Electoral Process Act, at seventy-three B. Having ascertained, carried the results, and considered the possible result of the remaining number of registered voters of 2,164 in the eight polling stations remaining, that it will have no effect on the outcome of the election results received so far. Joseph Jeffrey Kanyemba, being the returning officer for Sesheke by election, do hereby declare that Romeo Kangonde of the United Party for National Development, UPND, is having duly been elected as member of parliament. <laughs> There was celebration by UPND members, headed by the chairman for election, Gary Nkamba, with a traditional drum. <laughs> Mr. Nkombo later on addressed his members in thanksgiving for the victory. We would like to say that uh, we are very thankful for the process that we have taken. Under very extreme difficulty, we want to thank everyone who participated in this political process. We want to thank the police. We want to thank our candidate. We want to thank our president. We want to thank everyone who took part in this whole difficult journey. As far as we are concerned, this declaration was long overdue that Mr. Honorable Romeo Kangombe is going to uh, uh, represent the people of Sesheke constituency for the next two years. And we are certain that he was a good replacement for our late MP, Mr. Frank Kufo Kwande. We would like to thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We would like to thank the Kupa Kwandi family for the support that they've given us. We would like to thank the PF for the competition that they provided. We would like to thank everybody who took part in this process. But what we want to say here is that Romeo Kangombe has been accepted and going to be the MP for everyone in Sesheke. The violence which characterized the Sheke constituency has saddened House of Rastafari Chairman Albert Nkata. I, for one, I see that violence is not, uh, is not uh, very good. Because if violence, it destroys. Violence, it takes us backwards. You know, we are one people. We need each other in this life. So if we bring in violence, then we will disturb other people. The, the programs, everyday programs, will not be done properly because people will be hurt, they will be at hospitals, 
there will be so others that may be in mortuaries. So violence is very bad in life. I therefore urge everyone who's you know involved in violence to please stop. Meanwhile, Patriotic France Secretary General Davis Simwila has announced his party's intention to petition the Sheke parliamentary seat. We must protect them. The Patriot France hates violence. In light of the foregoing, let it therefore be made clear that we will petition the violence induced results of the Sheke by election. We also look forward to the Bahati. Uh, constituents by election which we shall adequately be prepared for. The Patriot Front will continue working with our people across all the 10 provinces of Zambia to fulfill the desire of Zambians to see more development through the leadership of President Edgar Chagolungu and Patriot Front in 2021 and beyond. <laughs>